What's up guys and of course welcome to another top 5 video with me Scarander and a uh, little disclaimer before we begin as always um, remember this is my personal opinions and I'm gonna base a lot of my choices on uh, how they have complimented me through battle and also how I like them overall and um, yeah I gotta include uh, evolutions because I did realize th that um, the stat pool of uh, the lesser two evolutions of the other Pokemon that are going to be included in this list are much worse than, uh, let's say, Emolga and Derene. So the mascot Pokemon are actually, in premise, basically only the Rotom Pokemons. And with, of course, um, the differentiators of uh, Merrill in Generation 2. But other than that, all of them are electric types and are cutie. Little electric rodents. So without further ado, guys, this is my top five mascot Pokemon in well, since now. And I'm gonna start with those two that actually didn't make the cut because a few of you guys actually reached out that it would be weird making a top five and then it, it just don't include two of the ones that um, aren't in it. And I really felt that both Plusle and Minum are equally bad and are as far as of now the worst. Um, introduction of the um, mascot Pokemon. They're not bad by default by any means, of course, but their gimmick was included in the Ruby Sapphire and uh, they never really like picked up and they are definitely weaker Pokemons. They're really fast. Uh, I think Minum has some better defenses while Plusle is more offensively, but their move pool is sadly limited and um, that is why they are so low on this list that it didn't make the cut, but that also means that now you have a good idea on which ones that are left. Number 5. Patarishu. So yeah, this Pokemon got legendary status in the VGC here this year, and for the right reasons, it is greatly fast and got some great defenses with both 70 in defense and 90 in special defense, 95 base in speed, which is really, really good. Um, the only weird thing, or not weird thing, but the thing that limits it is its attack stats. It's sadly around between four, I think it's four to five base in both attack and special attack, and uh, you're not gonna do any damage at all with that type of um, attack, of course. But you got access to knockoff, we got access to super fang, which is very common and toxic, nussle. And it got access to Volt Absorb too, which means that it can come in and actually absorb electric damage. And that is really, really nice. Patricio is great in VGC and it was definitely one of the key characters there on there because of the Follow Me setup. But as a standalone Pokemon, it's, it's not bad. Not bad by any means, but it had a hard time keeping up with the tougher threats there. And being weak to Earthquake... Uh, as its only weakness really, is still an issue that is hard to deal with in singles and uh, that's why it is on number 5 spot. But like I said there guys, it's a very very good Pokemon and it barely made a cut because of uh, its limited move pool and attack stats. But it's a great Pokemon overall and uh, it's pretty darn cute so I like it for that. So yeah, that is Patricia for it, number 5. Number 4. Dedene. <laughs> I know guys, I know, I trashed about this Pokemon so much, I really did, and it came close to whether or not it should be on the number 5 spot or not, but it has a huge advantage that is that is worth mentioning, and the fairy type really, really helps it out here, and it becomes a superior choice because of that. Of course, it's no Garchomp killer because of, let's face it, Earthquake still hit it, dead on track, but and uh, it's... Its special attack is very, very good, and I mean good like Knight to base, but it doesn't have any fairy attacks to complement that in the special side. But it's a good physical attacker with U turn, now it's gonna learn knockoff next generation here, and we got access to Nussle, Wild Charge, and of course, my personal favorite, Air Lace, which take people off guard very often, and it got access to the Play Rough, which is the reason you make this thing physical, and I can't really stress it enough. It kind of works in the physical sets, and for the people who watch my videos when I try to uh, show how bad they're in a physical, um, it actually have been working like well, and um, because of that, I really I got really fond of it, and uh, I'm really glad it's working because that means that these Pokémon aren't that terrible. It still it still lacks by the definition, of course, 
Uh, and it doesn't have any good like ability. The best it got is a chic poach, and that does that. You when you consume a berry, you restore extra HP, which is really nice. But this thing is not gonna take any punches by any means, so it's kind of a waste of ability. So we're gonna hope that this thing gets something better in the next generations to come. And I'm really hoping for more arrive. I had my own decisions of it. And yeah, other than that, if this thing gets raining kiss or dazzling gleam, this thing is gonna go high on this list. So, uh, sadly, it's on the number 5 spot, but I'll still like you, Dene. Number 3 Pikachu and Evolution Raichu. So, yeah, it didn't make number 1, and it probably be in my last position if it weren't for me including the Raichu Evolution, and that is really what it comes down to. I just, you know, going through this uh, Pokemon uh, while I did the list, I realized that Pikachu has the lowest stat total of all the rodents uh, that is included in this list with 250 base, even Ma Meryl is um, doing better, which is real unfortunate, but it's evolution, right you, boosted with 300 st in stat boost, which is awesome. It is a huge stat boost, it's right up there with Magikarp Gyarados to be honest, but yeah, it's a very high boost in stats for one evolution, and really, Pikachu is extremely good when it comes to, you know, denting Pokemon's team with being able to wall uh, wall break almost anything on any team. And, of course, Evolution Raichu is even better. Even though Light Orb uh, Pikachu hits hard, Raichu is much more sturdy, faster, and has a broader uh, move pool. And we have an access to Surf by event, and now in the future here, Draining Kiss and Flying Press. This thing is going to become something else of a being. I really hope that that Pikachu can evolve into Raichu. Because if it can't, then we have just another glass cannon. And I don't see Draining Kiss working that well with that. But yeah, as a Raichu on its own is, like I said, really, really good. And access to the momentum moves like Volt Switch and stuff like that is really good. But even on the physical side with Volt Tackle and Knock Off, this thing can actually pack quite a few punches and does that really well, and that is why it is on the number 3 spot. Number 2 Emolga. Plain and simple, Emolga is awesome. It is that simple. I was actually on the fence of putting Raichu or Emolga at number 2, but it came down to I just liking Emolga so much more as a Pokemon on its own, and I think it's much more versatile with the typing Electric Flying. It is now immune to the one of the worst moves that is actually nerfing these guys, which is the Earthquake. And the neutral move, electric moves that go in, go in its way, is actually non-effective, and you gotta affect the motor ride, which raises its speed. Which makes Emolga actually really good as it comes to a switching for resisted damage, or you know, just w walling it out completely. While Zapdos and uh, Rotom has similar traits, they still don't take neutral damage from electric moves, and that is why Emolga is here. Emolga is one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 5 because it was actually a part of my team, and it really held its own really well, being access to physical moves and being as good with the physical side as it is on the special side. It is actually more benefit to go with the physical side because the move pool is so much broader, having access to knock off, air lays, wild charge, U turn, not so from this generation. It can roost up, it doesn't have the defense force, but it can roost up. That is sick. But really, it got such a huge move pool and it's working really well. You can go with the special side, but then the move pool there is not as vast. So I wouldn't recommend it. But yes, as, as a standalone poke, Emolga is awesome. And it's super darn cute. I mean, I'm 26 years old and I still find this thing to be one of the cutest things i ever seen. And I want to flush it with this and I want to have one on my own to just, you know, throw it like a paper plane, that would probably be, I think the society or the, the communities would probably take that one away from me, but it's still my Pokemon. So yeah, anyway guys, this Pokemon is really really good, and I like it a lot, and that is why it is on the number 2 spots. Number 1, Meryl and Evolution, Asimeryl. I so much didn't want to put this Pokemon on this list, I really felt that it was too obvious, it's... It just, it, it didn't feel right, but really, I can't, I can't neglect the supremacy and the threat that is Asimaril and Meryl. You know, in Generation 4, this thing was still very limited. It wasn't until Generation 5 when it got introduced to huge power. 
that this thing become just another B and then when Generation 6 came and gave it to Fairy type, it was a GG Dragons, GG. This thing just became another type of bean, and the reason I say this is because it actually have a, the Asimaril had a stat move pool or a stat base that is worse than the Molga. It only got 420, and most of it are in its defenses and HP, which makes it a complete great wall. But with huge power, it also gets double that base attack, which you all guys know, and that makes it around 100 in base. What does that mean? It means you're wrecked from the get-go. This thing, that cute smile, is deaf. It is that simple. Asmaril is one of the biggest threats in OU. It walls every freaking dragon you can think about. And really, for being a mascot Pokemon for Generation 2, and you know, being that cutie Pokemon, it just it just fails in comparison to what you can deal with it. It's it's too tough. And it got access to Sap Zipper. If you really want to troll somebody. That means you only got one weakness, and that is Grass, which is not common in OU. At best, you go against the Ferrothorn, and you're gonna switch out anyway. But really, whew, this, this beast, this beast of a Pokémon, it's just, it can't be done. It's... The other Rodents Pokémon are just, they do not come close to Asimaril's just share awesomeness in power and defenses and it just i can't i can't do it justice more than this it deserves a number one spot for one reason it is the only pokemon that is in the overuse of these guys and it is for the right reasons it's a dragon killer it you can't stop it you can try but you will fail because even if you hit it with lightning he still got Aqua Jets, and he will wreck your ass. GG guys, GG. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and really, I mean, it's a very weird top 5 to do, because there are not so many ones to choose from, and uh, they're basically the same type of Pokemon, so Asmaril getting number 1 spot was really, really obvious. I just wanted to try to uh, versatile as much as possible. Since I am a huge fan of Emolia, I really felt that it deserved to be much higher than Pikachu because of the typing alone. Uh, but yeah, if you are on difference on opinion or want to reach out or anything, just make sure to write that down below in the comment section. And also, if you want to see a future top 5 or 10, make sure to write that down too because I do read them and I am looking for new projects here for next week so I can actually work on. So that will actually be very cool if you guys have a few ideas that I can, you know, work on and reach out on to be more unique uh, so with that in mind guys you know, thank you just always for watching and don't forget to leave a like that, that does help me a lot and you know retweet this and spread it around so the cutest stuff can be spread and we can top cutest stuff that is great so anyway guys thank you for watching and take care mm.